Welcome back, guys, to Sea of Stars. Well, last episode, after locating the last solstice shrine and the reward within, followed by another quiz session, we visited the spa with a few characters before setting off to the now open door below Elder Mist's trial. This led us into a battle against Elder Mist with our two solstice warriors, with the prize for victory being their ultimate weapons, leaving us with one more task to complete. I'm assuming that's the end of what she's asked me to do, which leaves just this to do. If I'm right in saying. Let's go read a story this time. Oh, boost, watch out. <laughs> I may have not got you all the way across the platform there. Sorry, buddy. here? Seems I can't camp there. Where can, where can one camp? Why can't I just camp? I'm gonna go to this watering hole again for no reason. But well, there's a whole lot of nothing. Supposedly I have to forward the story to that. I can't camp. What's going on? This is still an absolutely unknown location, whatever this place is about. Let's go to some place that I know 100% I can camp at. Something happened somewhere. <laughs> Permission to camp very much denied, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I know I know one hundred percent that I camped on this bit. Oh there I guess. I think I was pressing the wrong button. <laughs> Who would have guessed? I'm ready. Lear is ready. Oh, you found a new artifact. Let's see here. I was pressing R1. It was L1. <laughs> new story unlocked. Paradise lost. Let's hear the story. It's a lot earlier on the list, too. The world was a fair leader who cared not for titles. Stories say that she spent equal time at Aventry Manor as she did in town with her people. Under her reign, loosened new prosperity and upheld its title as Bastion of Light like never before. By her side was Duke Aventry, a proud noble and fierce defender of his land and people. Ever stalwart, it is said that the flame of his dedication to Lucent burned only cooler than that of his fiery love for Ewilda. Despite the looming threat of the Clockwork Castle, they managed to keep their people safe, happy and hopeful. One night during a long journey abroad, like so many others, Duke Aventry was awoken by an emissary carrying urgent orders. Ewilda demanded that he return to Lucent at once, offering no explanation beyond hinting at some dire threat. When the Duke arrived, he was greeted by a raging firestorm. A sizable portion of the land was burning, but there were no enemy forces in sight. A sun solstice warrior had turned evil. Hiding somewhere on the island, he would come out once a day to deplete his powers, slowly burning away at the landscape. Thanks to the trail of conflagration, he was easily tracked. Their fight persisted for days on end, but for all his might, Duke Amitri was unable to defeat the evil Solstice Warrior. Seeing the collateral damage caused by their battle, he accepted they were at a stalemate and retreated, in order to avoid further destruction of his already bleeding land. Struck by despair in the face of his inability to protect his people, Duke Amitri let his guard down and in walked the enemy. Fleshmancer Acolyte II approached in disguise and offered him a magic shard. This ancient shard was made by the Ovates themselves, she lied, fully aware of Duke Amitri's weakened state of mind. It will shroud your island in complete darkness for one day, blocking all light from the sun and moon. My enemy's power would, he mused, but... Playing to Duke Amitri's sense of humor, two gave him the final nudge. The Solstice Warrior hasn't been playing by the rules either. Surely you wish to protect your people, she asked. 
Duke Amentry accepted the shard and thanked her for her help. Simply smash the shard with conviction and its magic will awaken, Two explained on her way out. He wasted no time in smashing the shard and by voluntarily activating the curse on his island, played right into the Acolyte's hands. Everything went fine at first, the Night Shroud covered the land and Duke Aventry made short work of the weakened Solstice Warrior. As celebrations began, they put out a call for Wind Mages to gather waves strong enough to flood the eastern part of the island. The flames were extinguished at last, but in doing so, those areas were transformed into the famous swamps we know today. It was a change welcomed by all, for it came hand in hand with their victory. It took a few weeks until it became clear to all that the Night Shroud would never recede. Despite overwhelming support from his people, Duke Aventry could not forgive himself for his mistake. Finally realizing we had really given him the magic shard, he departed for the Clockwork Castle. On that day, Duke Aventry played into the Acolyte's hands for the second time. While he was away, Fleshman's the Acolyte free infiltrated Aventry Manor and killed a wilder. Thus was the ritual completed, and a seed of evil was planted in the mansion, which a few centuries later would grow into the Dweller of Woe. Completely defeated over the following days, Duke Aventry died of sadness and despair. As if fate hadn't been cruel enough, over 200 years later, Romeo found his urn and raised him from the dead to be her bodyguard. For decades, the Duke roamed the swamps he once ruled over, his memory completely gone, feeling nothing save for an unexplainable sadness. In bouts of clarity, he would feel a brief but very deep yearning for something he just couldn't put his finger on. Such was the Duke's lot for half a century until one day young Solstice Warriors reclaimed the Wilder's locket and brought it to him. His memory now restored, Duke Aventry smashed the locket and in doing so broke the tether binding his soul to the material plane. At long last he found peace and was free to leave this world. The end. So we took out Wilder ourselves. Very early on. Assuming that, well, the uh, Wilder being the dweller of woe somewhat, like... Dweller of uh, Torment? Eh. Gorilla Babies became Gorilla Like. Dweller of Woe formed as seed from a wilder became Lady Banshee Like. I'll assume something along those lines. Let's go grab some fish and we'll go over to our next area, which is Bzzzland. And so he crashed into Volcano as a beam of light. And that was the end. <laughs> oh dear, Ollis is assuming things again. Well, I'm assuming with some form of logical thing. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I feel like it could be relatively about there, yeah? <laughs> Fillet of fish obtained. That allow me to cook one more of our special dishes. Not that I can cook here specifically. That campfire is out for the count. There's also all this that I could just grab for money. How else will I afford my spa days? Without... <laughs> Selling a lot of things. But if I want to do that, I'll do that later. I've got other things to do. Literal fish to fry. We're going over to Brisk, which is... What's it far off? I was a bit worried I was in the wrong location. A save beforehand while make that food. Apple tree? Who who needs apples? Tataki for the best. Let's go to work. Basically a lot of boss fights lately. And the boss fights take quite a long time. Final dungeon still awaits us, though. It's interesting in regards to the map. If this wants to go here, there's got to be some kind of, like, item to get, but it says, like, everything's complete, so... Except for this stupid island! What is Stillpon Island about? That's the explanation we need the most of. 
Have I gone the wrong way? To get up easily? I think I have, you know. Keep going around. Go to the main frontal entrance. <laughs> you keep drawing that beautiful, excellent picture. I appreciate you. And, uh, I'm assuming this is the thing? Roll out the red carpet for me, why don't you? Welcome to Dweller's Fall Arena. On these sands, the mighty gather, the mightier prevail, and the mightiest become legend. Hi there. Would it be possible for my friends and I to enter the tournament? New challenges? Certainly. But we do have a rule limiting new entrance to a maximum of two sidekicks. Also, the use of items is forbidden. Got it. Thank you. This place is everything I was hoping for. Can we give it a try now? Is it just us two and you? Is that how it's supposed to work out? Not much in the way of sustain. Sarai also have Disorient as well. How do I choose? We will be participating. Please choose your rank. Bronze. we got three ranks to go through. So I can only take two of you with me. The great alchemist puppet could be amusing. Who else wants to join? I'll do it. Oh, the game chooses for you. Perfect. Let's go. Right, let me steal all your armors and stuff. I guess you could actually switch some stuff around now that you know who's what. Oh man, you can't though. If it's on someone else, you can't switch, can you? Oh no, there we go, there's the Eye of Yamara. Eye of Yamara would be pretty good. It's better than the Abacus, that's for sure. The Eye of Yamara on. Good day, people of Brisk and Beyond! Welcome all to Dweller's Full Arena! Today is a very special day for our new challenger is accompanied by the mighty Luna Monk who saved our town from total destruction on that fateful day. Took some of our people. No way! I heard she can breathe underwater! <laughs> Huzzah! That's the exciting part! Is she from Dakari Village? Now, now, please welcome Bzz, the Living Glass Golem, and his companions. Woohoo! Bzz, 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 it's hard to chant. Can they clear the bronze rank? We shall see. Shall we? For their first fight, please welcome the renowned, the unforgiving, the abominable, Claudus Crap Crew. Yay! They're my favorite. Now, now, let the fight begin. It's the Clawless Crab Crew, guys. Crew, training crew, and crew two, I guess. And we gotta work. Can I get the bonus AOE damage? No. <laughs> Ow! The crew's are getting me. They're being very crew. I blocked not a single thing. And so he lost on the first fight. The end. Get crewed. Is this offensive mode? Are they actually in a defensive mode? I don't know. That'll do. Unbelievable! The Claw Scrap Crew bites the dust in record time! Bist, bist, bist! And now, directly from the Moorlands, I present you the Bomb Bouncing Brothers! This is gonna be good! Now, now, let the fight begin! What's it doing? Bzzz, bzzz. Isn't that like it's weird counter thing? Doesn't it have a counter thing up right now? Oh, 
Obviously not. That's not a bomb. Liar. Oh, too early. Oh, shoot. That was my poison. No, that was my poison. I failed. I went over there. Boom explosion. Well, it didn't do that much damage. Two poison? Okay. Ah. I see hitting into these is actually kind of hard. Hopefully my better weapon might sort me out here. That's one. I don't think I can defeat you. I guess I'm getting boom exploded again. Blocked. This is just problems or whatever, and then what's the rest gonna be like? I'm gonna fail miserably. Such talent! The bomb bouncing brothers didn't stand a chance against this is This will climb the ranks in no time. Shh, listen to the announcer. For our last fight of the day, let's give a big hand for the champions of the bronze rank from the cursed wood, the gold gold goof group. They love their alliteration currently. My friend can strike that pose! Now now, let the fight begin! What if he just runs away? Attack your friend. That'd be nice. Can you do that for me? Okay, we'll hit you. Then we'll go to you, Rashad. Now you've got both. And then I'm going to hit you dead on. Ready? I mean, it's going to work. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah! Be he's useless. Beat him up. Poison, sun, sun. We've got three turns to go, so I'll attack you. And I'll switch to Lashan. And finish both of those off. And beat you up. They've done it, folks! They beat the champions of the bronze rank! Boost, boost, boost! Hell, the new bronze champion! That concludes today's event. Congratulations, boost! Boost! Here's your prize for completing the bronze rank. Congratulations! A sapphire or... Another way for us to get money. Welcome to Dwellers Full Arena. On these sands, the mighty gather, the mighty prevail, and the mightiest become legend. Will you be participating today? Sure. In the silver rank? I hope I get healed in between. Silver room. How about Zale and Sarai? Sure. I'm not too fond of this type of entertainment, but if it matters to you, I'm in. Thank you, Sarai. I think that's the healing sound, by the way. So I'm pretty sure I did get healed. Right, you got the cornucopia. My thing got taken off, which is the Eye of Yamara. And Sarai is wearing the Lucent Crystal. That doesn't work in this fight. The Spirit of Ninja will be on instead. That's a better bet. Anything better I can put on you, really? Skills cost less, 1 MP less. Probably not that bad, really. Attack power 4. Take the skills cost 1 MP less.
Good day, people of Brisk and Beyond. Welcome all to Dweller's Fall Arena. Our latest newcomer, Buzz the Living Glass Golem, is back to take on the Silver Rank. Let's go! Boost, boost, boost. You can expect another great performance, for this time he's accompanied by none other than the Solar Blade Dancer who helps save us from the Cataclysm. Is it true that you can turn into light? <laughs> That's way more impressive than breathing underwater, even though breathing underwater is impressive. It just seems like the lower down of, like, Valia's stuff. <sighs> boost, boost, boost. To start things off, ship directly from who knows where. Please welcome the prickly pirate party. The alliteration continues. Spooky! Now, now, let the fight begin! That's, uh... You're really gonna work on me here. What if I were just to sunball you in the face and not care about what's going on? That worked quite well. In fact, they're pretty much dead. Uh, damage down to poison to all elements. Okay. Kind of wondering how to do this in the best way of getting... I guess just Venom Flurry, maybe? We'll take out the first one. We only have to deal with one damage source. Or no damage sources. After a great start, the prickly pirate party never knew what hit them. Woohoo! And now let's continue with the best of the best when it comes to the art of the swordsmanship. Let's hear it for the fancy fencing force! It's got a revenant. Fancy fencing force? I'm rooting for them! I'm with this. Now, now, let the fight begin! Yeah, the Revenant's a bit more of a trouble, and Mr. Guy over here is, like, really raring to go. Okay, I guess I go Power Smash? No, I need to just hit normally. This will allow Zell to hit you. I'm remembering the Revenant only gets, like, strong on the later turns. We gotta keep that in our minds. Wow, terrible. <laughs> Didn't even get the second hit. I mean, I still got free MP. Stop it with your free weights. You, I even knew you had free weights. Wow, 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 noise. Uh, so we just bait this with Zale. I realize now I could have just killed the guy at the bomb. And avoided taking a bit of damage there. Ow. <laughs> it's in the right gear at the moment. You're on 71 health. I failed again. I would have killed him if I didn't do that. Well, at least I guess it wasn't that much damage. Ow! Stop hitting me! Can't stop this unless I literally try to stop this. So with that hit... We could just hit a sun ball into the middle of these guys. And that's going to leave you at half health. You're probably going to tip over the edge very shortly and go absolutely in at me. She's now. Combo, combo, combo. Quando, quando, <laughs> Damn it. I guess I could combo this with someone for this. Single target blunt venom and arcane damage. Or sword stun and venom damage that hits 
Let's do this one. I don't know what it does, but let's do it. What are we doing? What's going on? What happened? What was the timing? An unprecedented performance. This brings us to the final five today's event. Oh, it's time for the watchmaker. What? Shh. As always, the silver champion is too busy to join us in person, but she sent a new creation, a fight for her. It will activate the moment it touches the sand. Are you ready? Yes. I can't hear you. Are you ready? Whee! Is it going to be Will's pieces? Buzz, buzz, buzz. Let's do it then. I give you the watchmaker's entry into the tournament. The defender of her title is silver champion. <laughs> the clockwork abomination! <laughs> watchmaker! Watchmaker! <laughs> it's even bigger than the last one. Now, now, let the fight begin. This is an actual boss fight. It's probably time now. Ah. Sounds like Grunty's guy. So, we don't need to actually do anything. Except get the attack right so we can do some extra damage. That would be very nice. I'd appreciate that. There's nothing that... Normal attacks don't seem to be good against it. So an element might be the way. I just realized not having items is kind of sickening. You just dragged me against you? That's a thing. So what am I doing? Got three of these there. No, I've only got two. So I'll get a third. See if sun is the way, maybe. Sun is not the way. Just go with a normal attack. <laughs> I failed. Poison's not the way. I don't know why you use your own face. Uh. Uh huh. Uh. Uh. -huh. I can only hit one of these without a disorient. But with a disorient, I can hit more. Oh shoot, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> So I get two to- how am I gonna make this work? Cause sword, blah, blah, I have to use a skill. Elbow drop then. Have I even used this before? Well, I got it. Somehow I made that work. Probably the exact way I'm supposed to make it work as well, so it's all good. Hey, stop that! You constantly cheat, I'll have you know. Fine, I cheat too, I guess. Really need to get Sarai some more MP at this point. He's just constantly trying to use skills. It's an endless amount of locks I have to hit. What? Can be timed for bonus AoE. Okay. An elbow drop is thingy. Oh, that's rubbish. I can't break it. That doesn't even count as sudden. Oh, it only counts as one sudden. 
Did he just stop time? Time for mayhem? That was weird. <laughs> it was just weird. Sure. That was mayhem. Thanks for taking a normal turn, by the way. I'm very appreciative of this. And one day I'll block that, but today is not that day. MP. I blocked it! Lots of poison! The only one who can't go! Something tells me this doesn't know this doesn't hit multiple times. Uh, no. Look you! <laughs> I'm not cool with this. I think it's time for friends. <laughs> what? Clock zombies. <laughs> okay, then. Shame if I would use my ultimate to destroy your zombie friends. I guess. <laughs> Altered beast. Yes, crocodile. Alligator. More. So I see you call on some friends that I didn't allow in the fight, so. I'm sorry. Clockwork abomination that lives forever. You are literally a boss, aren't you? You just don't die. Okay. Man, I should complain about things having loads of health and not die more often because they usually dive in that turn. <laughs> they defeated the Clockwork Abomination. Can you believe it? This is the best. Will this winning streak continue into the gold rank? We shall see. This concludes today's event. Congratulations, Beast. Here's your prize for completing the silver rank. Congratulations. We got a sapphire ingot again. More money. More time to spend at the spa. Right. The gold rank. We made it to the gold rank. This is the last one. Stay in for there. I would like you two by my side for this one. Of course. You got it, Bist. Yeah, let's go then. No big AoE heal, no disorient or delay, more to the point. Luckily we still got- I mean, we got the ultimate armor and the ultimate weapon for our guys. It's not terrible, is it? Eye of Yamara. It's all good there. Party members recover everyone MP when they block. Got a lot of HP and magic attack. I guess it's you that doesn't have ultimate stuff. You're letting us down, except you do give the party 20 HP max. That's pretty nice. We don't get experience in here either, do we? Good day, people of Brisk and Beyond. Welcome all to Dwellers Full Arena. Here we are, the gold rank. Is there no stopping? Boost, boost, boost. This is awesome, and it's my birthday too. To kick off today's event from the scolding depths of Kill Mountain and unknown lands above, I give you Big Buggy and Bad Bunnies! Oh, I'm so ready! Now, now, let the fight begin! Okay, Big Buggy Sling Rabbit. Lots of arcane that needs to be hit with. First one is Sword Arcane, which, like, isn't remotely possible. 
Excellent. Oh shoot, that was you going first. Oh, I thought it was Dale. So I'm about to get hit by quite a bit of damage. Not good. Not good. I mean, I still blocked for two. Lower the power a little bit. Damn you, Tectonics. You fool. <laughs> Arcane poison. I am reduced to healer. To be honest, if I used the sun ball, I'd have been completely fine. I shouldn't use sun ball. Why didn't I use the sun ball? Right, double arcane. That's not even possible. <laughs> Elbow drop does arcane once, and Warble does AOE, I guess. I mean, Paris Smash does AOE, I guess. But it only does one. Maybe if I imbue it a little, I don't know. Yeah, only does one. Help! Shoot, well, I'm going to be able to get my combo going on the next turn. So that's not going to work out terribly in the end. Uh, also, they all died. So now I've actually got... That's... That's... That's really bad. 